Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today's video, you probably saw it in the thumbnail, we're gonna be uh, gigging tonight, and I'm gonna cook it in the woods in the morning. But right now, we're getting our gear ready. Um, it's about 11 o'clock at night. We're gonna go try to find some flounder and stick them. I got them under my foot. I have to wait for it to stop murking up. Let's keep your hands steady. All right guys, we got our first thing of the night. It's just a big old crab. I mean, this thing's pretty big. It looks pretty beat up. It's got like one claw. It's got like oil all over it and stuff. I don't even know if I want to eat this, if it's going to kill me, but uh, we got a crab. Here's a baby flounder right here. Fine, dude. Where you get those shoes at, dude? Got to get a rosh. Dude, are those the new Air Jordan 72s, dude? <laughs> Bro, we're not even friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Did he bite you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. put them in the thing my jigger so pretty much these things you can eat the fins off of them so um, I've never done it before but it's a great time to to do it for a video so yeah that's a barb <laughs> so yeah he's got my gig so yeah I don't know what to do now <laughs> I don't know like can you just give it back please oh it's sketchy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Just a little squid. Oh, nice. look, look at that. Freaking slice that open. Perfect. Right there. Ah! It's weird. <laughs> Guys, we got a stingray and like three or four um, blue crabs. Ow! <laughs> my eyeball! <laughs> we didn't get any uh, flounder. There was like some footprints there. It looked like someone else was like gigging and got them before us. But we'll cook these in the morning. Alright guys, I've been dreading this. I didn't I've never ever eaten a stingray before and like I never thought I would eat a stingray just because they just look nasty. I don't know, does that look appetizing to you? It, other fish look good to me, this does not look good to me. But uh here goes nothing. Usually you want to cut the tail off first. I'm guessing I've never done this before, but yeah, it would suck to get slapped by that. So usually you'd probably want to do that. By the way, guys, that's the barb. That's what you can potentially get stung with. Pretty gnarly. But I'm pretty sure these barbs have poison on them too. Yeah, you see those? You can kind of see like a white glow on the sides. That's the reverse barbs. Those things, they're like little hooks. And when it goes in your leg, it goes in smoothly, but it won't come out. Like, it's holding my finger. Like, look, I can slide down, but I can't slide up. Either this knife is super dull, or this skin is super tough. By the way, guys, when you fillet these things, you just pretty much go down to you hit this. This is like, it's not bones. It's like a hard gristle. Once you hit the gristle, then you turn. If you get too close to the edges, there's no meat. It's just skins. I heard that there's a fillet on the back. I don't think this fillet is worth anything. Get this meat clean. It's really weird. It's not like a single slab. It's like all rows of meat. Now you gotta skin them. Honestly, the meat doesn't look that bad, guys. I've seen meat that looks worse. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta clean these crabs too, so let me do that real quick. If you don't know how to clean crabs and you wanna know how to catch and clean blue crabs, there'll be a link at the end of this video. Um, it'll be a video I did the other day, and it'll teach you how to catch, clean everything on blue crabs, so go check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this stingray inside just because I've never had it before. I don't know how good it is. I don't know. I want to prepare it perfect so that I can give my honest opinion on it. I got my meat right there soaking in water. I'm gonna take it out and pat it down. 
Now we're gonna season these puppies. Put a little bit of lemon. A little bit of slap your mama seasoning. This stuff is so good. Put a little bit of that on it. Now they're ready to be put in the pan. Add a little oil in the pan. This is where the magic happens. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh yeah. It looks like chicken. I've cooked a lot of fish before in my life and I've never had any do this. It's just like completely fell apart in the pan. Like it did not stay together at all. I have no idea why. All right guys, wish me luck. I think it would be good on like a taco. It's all right guys, it's honestly not bad. I thought it was gonna taste terrible, like super fishy and gross. It doesn't taste super fishy and gross. Next time I cook it, I'm just gonna cut the fin off completely and with the gristle on it and everything and then fry that. I heard that's how, that's another good way to do it. It's good. It's not bad, right? No. No, it's, it's not good. too bad. As a matter of fact. Yeah. yeah. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun catching those things. The stingray was a little weird, but it was good. If you enjoyed this video, hit a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you want me to do next. And if you enjoyed this video and you want more like it, hit the subscribe button and turn on the little bell. Those crabs, if you want to learn how to cook, catch, eat, repair, all the stuff like the blue crabs, I didn't do it in this video, but I have another video at the end of this video you can click on and watch, and it'll teach you how to do all that. Until next time, guys, peace out and stay scumpy.